In this question, we will solve a problem on IS uh, function. The question is like this. When consumption is 200 plus 0.75 Y minus T, I is equal to 200 minus 25 or G is equal to 100, T is equal to 100, find IS equation. Okay, so what we are being given here, consumption is equal to 200. This denotes autonomous consumption. That does not depend upon the level of income plus 0.75 this is our marginal propensity to consume y minus t is our this gives us the disposable income okay our investment is being given as 200 that means autonomous investment minus 25 that means marginal propensity to investment r is the rate of interest government expenditure is autonomous uh, investment is also autonomous sorry t uh, taxes are lump sum here so we have 10 we have to find the is how do we find the is equation simply what is our national income identity y is equal to c plus i plus g okay we don't have the foreign sector here that means export sector so we have only three terms on the rhs okay let's give the variables here values so c is equal to this very thing so i can write 200 plus 0.75 y minus what is tax t is being given as as 100 okay plus what is our uh, investment investment is being given by this very function that is 200 minus 25 or plus the government expenditure is 100 okay what does the is curve tell us let me draw it here is curve let us denote the level of income or gdp here rate of interest here this is our is income which is negative slope it shows us different combinations of rate of interest and level of income okay let us say we have r1 r2 r3 y1 y2 y3 it shows us different pointers okay on a line where savings is equal to investment okay so is curve is simply the di different combinations of rate of interest and level of income where savings is equal to investment this is the meaning of is function okay so how do we calculate we calculate it from this national income model okay so y is equal to we have 200 plus 0 0.75 y this 0 0.75 is multiplied to this term and also to this term we have minus 0 0.75 into 100 plus we have 200 minus 25 r plus 100 okay so transposing this term on lhs y minus 0 0.75 y is equal to 200 uh, minus 70 percent 75 percent of 100 is 75 obviously we have 200 then minus 25 r plus 100 okay so when we subtract 0 0.75 from y we will get 0 0.25 y is equal to we have 200 200 100 so this is half this is good so like 500 minus 75 so we have 425 minus 25 what we call r here okay point two five can be written as one upon four y simply because we have 0 0.25 it can be written as this is 10 to 100 so we divide by 100 to remove the decimals so we have here 25 now 25 ones are 25 fours are so this is one upon four here okay so then we have 425 minus 25 r okay or we can write y is equal to if we transpose this term it will get multiplied to each of these terms uh, and reciprocated okay so we have 425 into one upon four will become four upon one here minus 25 uh, into 4 upon 1 into r okay so we can write it like this y is equal to so this is 4 5s are 20 4 2s are 8 9 10 4 4s are 16 that is 17 minus 25 into 4 is 100 or this is our is function so let us see if there is the option of this actually this is here was 1700 okay 1700 minus 100 or the correct option should be option first okay and it shows that income is a negative function of 
rate of interest okay it shows different combinations of rate of interest okay and income where our savings is equal to investment okay i hope i make myself clear and you find out this very video helpful for you thank you